Hey, what's up everyone? Nice and cold this morning here at, uh, look at my backyard. It looks nice and uh, chilly back there. My lawn's starting to turn brown and starting to look like winter back there. Uh, I got a bunch of evergreens back there, so they're not losing their leaves like everything else in the front with my maples and stuff. But that's beside the point. Um, I want to talk a little bit today about um, the reflective process. And I think that there is a lot of, I guess a little bit of background on this is when I, when I graduated from college to go to school or going to be a, a teacher, which physical education is what my degree is in, my master's in uh, education technology. But, um, you know, I pretty much threw that all behind. But when before that, what I was doing was I was teaching, I taught in Marsing for two years. I taught uh, PE over there at the middle school. And I really wanted to teach high school kids because I felt like I connected with them a little bit better. Um, I coached baseball. Uh, I was, you know, the head coach for the baseball team at Marsing for a couple of years, and then I was an assistant uh, in Middleton and uh, assist, like the head freshman coach last year, and I had to kind of put that behind. But the reason why, or part of what I did to get into the Middleton School District was I taught senior project for um, for a year. They didn't have an open PE position. I really wanted to teach high school PE, and um, so sometimes you take a position that isn't really in class so that you can do that and part of what they did with their senior project was they required students every year to submit their best work and write a reflection on it and kids hated that that was like the worst thing that they had to do was they had to write this monotonous reflection on their work so they had to be proud of something that they did and they had to write a reflection on it and um what I think they missed and what I'm starting to notice now because I reflect on everything that I do is that reflection is actually um, it's actually problem solving. Um, it's funny I'm looking one of my students is on here right now so I'm assuming that he's probably gonna um, he's probably gonna have a little input on this but I think that writing the reflections was really re monotonous for them. They hated it, they didn't like it, they didn't understand it but what it taught them to do is to refine what they were doing, I think. I really feel like every day you refine your process. You're trying to make yourself better. You're trying to do things uh, better every single day. And, um, you know, for me, you know, I'm a salesman right now. That's what I do. Um, I'm working a lot on marketing. I started to try and brand myself a little bit, trying to get people to, um, you know, follow me um, and get in with what I'm doing. But it's become more than that. And, um, Really um, understanding that a reflective process every single day is something that you use. You use it every day and you, you have to think about it in a different way in order to be better at what you do. So um, I, I really think that when you walk into a house, for instance, like I walk into a house the other day, I'm giving a person a quote on blinds, I show them the wrong product, they, we, they misunderstood, they missed a connect on what they actually wanted, you know, and, and that can lose you a sale. So you go back out and, and you think about it and the next one, you're like, well, what could I have said that would have made that better? Could I have given them a different option? Could I ask a different, more specific question? And you're just refining that every single day. So um, I think that you really got to understand that reflection is something that you should use every single day to make your process better. Um, I'd like to hear what you have to say about that. Uh, go ahead and comment below if you can. Um, let me know. I mean, good feedback, bad feedback, but uh, reflection in the end is really problem solving. It's making something better. So I uh, just want to leave you with that. Hope you have a good day. Talk to you later.